Hi guys and welcome back to Best Practice TV. In this episode we're continuing our recent discussion on environmental management and starting to explore how you can look at your organisation and have a bigger picture view of how you impact the environment. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Best Practice TV. What we're talking about today is environmental issues and getting you guys to think really what is in the big picture in terms of how your organization impacts the environment. And what, are, what we've got here is a, um, a fishing fleet in tropical North Queensland here in Australia. And what we're gonna have a little bit of a discussion about as a case study is how can this fishing fleet and what goes on here impact the environment. And then you can think about your own life in terms of buying fish and consuming fish and thinking about, well, okay, well, if I buy and consume fish, I'm going to have an impact on the environment because this is the fleet that does the fishing for you and delivers your amazing fish to the supermarket. So let's have a talk through some of their issues and then, uh, and then you, we can think about that as a bit of a case study and you guys can start to think about your organisation and because this is an immediate part of your personal life that has an impact on the environment, let's take a few steps through this process. So what we've got here is the fishing fleet at anchor and what's really important to understand is that both those those boats need to go out uh, and so they need to go and do their fishing and they need to obviously be stored, they need to be maintained, they need to be used, they need to be serviced and ultimately they need to be disposed of at the end of their, li their serviceable life. we're talking about a case study on serving fish and the whole environmental life cycle of fish that gets delivered to your supermarket or your fishmonger and so what we're going to have a look at is this fishing fleet here and we're going to look at some of the environmental impacts that are associated with the whole fishing industry and and with particular reference to this fleet that's behind me so that you can understand this is part of your environmental footprint as you purchase fish from the fish market or the supermarket. In operating this fishing fleet, these vessels need to be maintained, they need to be stored, and obviously they go out into the ocean and they do their fishing and they come back and they go to market. So at the moment, while these vessels are essentially in their marina, in, their, in the fleet here is all back from uh, fishing, what we've got is we've got an opportunity to start to look at some of the localised environmental impacts that are associated with this fleet and so that you guys can understand, obviously it's not just the big picture, it's not just you know the, the, tuna, the dolphin safe tuna that's in the supermarket, it's about the little things that happen in the fishing, you know, where the fishing boats are kept to understand that there is a bigger picture that uh, you need to consider with environmental impacts. When you're establishing your environmental management system, it's important to consider your environmental aspects or the environmental aspects of your activities that have an impact on the environment. And in the case of consuming fish, it's really important to consider that this fleet, the maintenance of this fleet has an impact on the environment, the operation of this fleet has an impact on the environment, and it's all those things that we can start to consider and we can go through and understand how we can work through the environmental management system of the business, and we can understand what are those things that we can control and we can improve for the benefit of everybody.